What's up guys? It's Wally, and today we're going to be doing some battles with an Expanding Force for Uniclus. So now that Expanding Force is back in the game as a TM, it's really nice because there are a lot of other Pokemon that can learn it now. And one of those Pokemon is Reuniclus. And it's even nicer because Reuniclus does get the ability Magic Guard, which pretty much protects it from any indirect damage. Which means that the residual damage that you'd be taking from the Life Orb is pretty much negated. So you're not going to be taking that residual damage. And that means that you're going to be getting that extra 30% damage on the Expanding Force, Terror Blast, and Psychic Noise whenever you use that into a Pokemon. And you're not going to end up getting that drawback of taking the residual damage. And since you do have Ndidi on this team as well, it does set the Psychic Terrain. And of course, I know you guys have seen this all with, you know, a bunch of other Pokemon like Armor Rouge, uh, Iron Crown now, and a lot of other Pokemon in the past. But Expanding Force does end up doubling its power and hitting both Pokemon across the way. So that's really nice, unless, of course, you end up facing something like a Dark-type Pokemon. But those aside, you're going to be doing a ton of damage into a lot of other Pokemon as well. And since you do obviously have that weakness to the dark type Pokemon and Expanding Force doesn't hit it, this Reuniclus does have a Fairy Terra and it does have that Terra Blast as well. So you're going to be doing some good damage into those dark type Pokemon. So that's nice to be able to kind of cover yourself for that. It does have Protect as well and Psychic Noise. That way, if you end up seeing a Pokemon that does some healing every once in a while, you can end up going with the Psychic Noise and be end up... Uh, and end up preventing that. So even though Armor Rouge has really been the Pokemon of choice when it comes to expanding force, and again, like I said, now Iron Crown as well, I think Reuniclus is going to make a really good case to end up using that. And again, especially with the Magic Guard and the Life Orb, it's going to be doing some extra damage. So I'm really excited to use it and see if we can actually make this work. So we'll get into the battles, but before we do, as always, if you guys are new here, just haven't yet, please make sure to go down and hit the subscribe button. If you guys do enjoy the video, please make sure to drop a like too. But let's get into the battles. All right, well, looks like this might actually be a team to uh, set the terrain for us, but we're not going to rely on that. Um, yeah, we're definitely not going to rely on that. So we're actually going to lead with uh, with these two. Um, although it might be a little... might be a little nerve-wracking, though. Mm. Now, here's what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to do. Because here's the thing. If they end up starting with... Um, Nah, because they may end up... Hmm. That's going to be okay. Let's go in DD. Let's go with Rillaboom. Uh, and then we'll have Reuniclus in the back, as well as... Honestly, probably Baxcalibur. Yeah, I think we're going to go back Scalibur as well. Thermal Exchange is going to be a big help. We just have to worry about the fact that, uh, like an IV Cudgel, if they don't Terrastalize, won't proc our Thermal Exchange. So that's one thing we have to think about as well. Uh, main reason for that is because of the uh, Mold Breaker on, um, on that Ogre Pond. So that's one thing to think about. Is this going to be Ninetales? Oh, and Whimsicott. Cool. Not a big deal. Question is, is that in prison? Or is that, um... Yeah. Is that in prison, or is that gonna be... Something else? Either way, though... Uh, again, the main reason, too, I should have pointed this out, why I don't mind going Indeedee and going Rillaboom at the same time, is because Rillaboom's a little faster. And really, realistically, especially for this team and with you uh, using Reuniclus, really want that uh, Psychic Terrain out there. So we wanted to make sure that we got that. So let's go with a uh, go with the Trick Room here. And let's tear into Fire, and we're going to go for a High Horsepower over there. Main reason is if they go for like a heat wave or something like that, at least we'll be able to survive that. Should do a good job with that too. Oh nice, we actually resist that as well. Love that. Nice. We'll take that. Ooh, it's life orb too. It's also knocked out, is what it also is. There we go. Nice KO right there. You'll love to see that. And we'll get that Trick Room up. Nice. Now, this is one where I kind of wish we had U-Turn on this, but we're going to be all right, though. Who they bring out next? I feel like they have Charizard in the back. 
And they bring out Charizard. Here we go. Not a big deal, actually. Um... I wish we could actually change the weather. I think that's one thing that this team is really missing. Um, I kind of want to just knock out Riddleboom. So uh, I'm going to go uh, Helping Hand. Let's go Helping Hand, and I'm going to go for the Wood Hammer over there. I know that it's not going to do much damage, let's be completely honest, but... Hold on now. Okay, well this might actually do a little bit of damage then. Let's go. That's fine. Hopefully we can do enough damage here. Perfect. That's a good turn, then. Nice. Do we knock ourselves out, though? That's the question. We don't. Okay. Um, I was kind of hoping we would on that one, to be honest. I will take that, though. I'm not upset at that. again, actually. I don't mind leaving Charizard for a bit. Plus, it's going to terrestrialize into... Dragon? No, it's straight fire. Cool. It's going to be a, a problem in the uh, in the sun and everything, but in all honesty, I think we'll be fine here. With the helping hand, we'll get the uh, wood hammer over there, which will probably only do about half, maybe. Well, never mind. We knock ourselves out, though. Uh, which means we're going to be taking this either Fire Blast or Heat Wave. Uh, just into Indeedy. Let's hope we can survive that. Uh, the chances of that are happening, though... Yeah, didn't think so. That's okay, though. That is alright. It's fine because we're just going to be able to uh, bring in Reuniclus here and just go with a uh, an Expanding Force. And just pick up that KO like that. Let's go. They are only a fire type, so honestly, just going with like the Glaive Rush is probably going to be enough. What do we have for Trick Room? Two? Two. So let's go with the Expanding Force. And let's go with the Glaive Rush over there. And that should be enough. Well, we didn't even need the Glade Rush. Let's go. Again, it just shows, I'm sure, a lot of you guys have used Armors, or at the very least have faced one before. Uh, yeah, that thing, uh, especially with the Expanding Force, is just absolutely insane. So why not get some other really strong special attackers that are Psychic types to be able to use it too, and it's exactly what Reuniclus is, especially with the Light Orb. Good game. Well, looks like we got a Gigas and a Weezing. That's going to be extremely fun. Um, so I think what we're going to end up doing... I think we're going to go with Backscalibur. Um, and I'll explain in just a moment why. But let's go Backscalibur as well as... So we're going to go Indeedee as well. And then we're going to end up bringing Reuniclus as well as... Honestly, let's go King Amid as well. That's not a bad idea. Main reason why we're going back Scalibur is because uh, if they do end up starting with Weezing and... Um, uh, why am I blanking? Regigigas... Um, a lot of times, like, the Weezing ends up having, like, uh, Will-O-Wisp, and we would end up, well, that's not what they're going with. I was gonna say, we'd end up kind of, um, and wouldn't really have to worry about that that much, 
uh, because with Backscalibur we have the Thermal Exchange and can't be burnt, and also the Will-O-Wisp would end up giving us a plus one to our attack. That'd be ideal. Uh, here's what we're going to end up doing. This is going to be rough. Um, I'm going to go with the... We go with the Icicle Spear up there, and we're going to end up going with the Trick Room. Beautiful. We should be able to get this Trick Room off. Alright! Let's go! I didn't think we were going to survive! Okay! That's fine. We're going to knock you out with the Icicle Spear. I love it. Let's go. And we're going to get the Trick Room up as well. Oh, man. That was... Yeah. Yikes. Perfect, though. Let's go. We get the Trick Room. We're going to be able to have Reuniclus out there after um, one of these guys gets knocked out. Which, honestly, is probably going to be a Deity. I'm glad we got the terrain out then. Alright, here's what we're going to do. We go for the Icicle Spear up into the big guy, and let's go with the Follow Me. Yeah, that's fair. I can't be upset at that at all. What you gonna go with though? Yeah, that's unfortunate. No! That's good for Max. Oh no! Oh no! Oh well, actually, no, that's actually a really good thing now that I'm thinking about it. Because the neutralizing gas takes care of the uh, thermal exchange. So, really, that would have been able to knock out and, yeah. So, I'm actually glad and it would have knocked him out anyway. So, there we go. Okay. Sorry. I know. We're, we're good, though. We're good. We're good. Right, we're going to go for the Icicle Spear. And, uh... Actually, it sounds ridiculous. I'm not Icicle Spear over there. I know that the Expanding Force... No, no. Let's be smart. Let's Icicle Spear over there. And again, let's go for the Expanding Force. Yeah. Because they're going to end up Terrastalizing here. I kind of wanted to see what they were going to Terrastalize into. But if we can end up knocking out Regigigas, that would be really, really good. Ooh, okay. Yeah, that's smart right there. That's fine, though. Because we can Terrastalize now and end up knocking them out with the Terra Blast. Good stuff. I will say that's the other the other bad thing too is the fact that uh, with our ability on Reuniclus gone, that's going um, that's actually going to create the residual damage from the life orb. So that's the downside, but we're going to be okay though, as long as they don't have Terra Blast or something like. Oh, we're going to be fine. We'll be fine. Axe is gone. We still have Reuniclus, and we can Terrastalize now. And I think that's going to be I think that's going to be good. Go Gambit. Nice. So let's go Iron Head. Actually, you know what? Let's go Sword Dance. I'm going to be greedy. Let's go with the Terra. And let's go with the Terra Blast. Oh, man. I kind of wanted to go with the Terra Blast there. I love the animation. But I also wanted to see if it was going to be able to KO in one. But there we go. Talk that's what I'm talking about right there. Reuniclus is still a really strong... Uh, special attacker, and again, I really wanted to see how much damage that was actually going to do, because that was going to be really interesting. Either way, though, really good game. Alright, now here's one where we're potentially going to have to worry about a terrain change. Um, so we're not going to end up starting with Ndidi, despite the fact... Despite the fact that... Um, we're going to have to need that, and that's our only Trick Room setter. That's all right. I think it's going to be more important to uh, control the terrain. So let's start Gambit along with Reuniclus. And let's also have Indeedee in the back along with... Huh. 
kind of want to go Rilla. We'll go Rilla Boom too. We actually probably could have ended up going with uh, Baxcalibur, which probably would have been smarter. Um, but we're going to be all right, though. I, I think this team is still going to be able to, to be enough. And I know we have two different terrains right now, but again, it's it's going to be nice to have the potential to go with a... Um, oof. A non-priority move. Or with the priority move and being able to switch terrain so we're able to do that. Um, I think we're going to Terrastalize here with Reuniclus. I'm going to go with the Terra Blast over there. I'm going to go with the Kowtow Cleave over into uh, Tornadus. I'm sure they're going to go with an electric move, but at least this keeps us safe from a uh, dragon move. And hopefully we'll do a good good amount of damage here. It's a good Terra Blast. Oh, give me a speed drop on Gambit. Yes! Let's go! That is huge! Huge right there, I love that. That's awesome. Terra Blast, I want to see how much this does. This would be really nice. Maybe about half? Three quarters? come from let's go goodbye tornadoes yeah, after you get that speed drop and get the uh, defiant proc oh man that plus two is so nice Ooh, hello Roshi. Yes. okay so that's not gonna be ideal um I'm gonna swap into Rillaboom here. I'm gonna think about this. We could go. Reuniclus, I think, would go first. So let's go Rillaboom. And let's go Indeedee. Oh, let's go! Okay, go! That's, that's actually really nice. I wasn't expecting that. Um, main reason for that, though, I know we would end up setting the Psychic Terrain, but I would imagine they were going to go with a close combat over into um, over to King Gambit, which would have gone then into Ndidi. Um, and then, what would that have been? That would have been, like, the Thunderbolt, more than likely. And that would have been going over into uh, Reunclus' spot, which would have been resisted by Rillaboom. So, either way, I think we're going to be safe on that, and we're going to have uh, some good things to take care of them, and they weren't going to be able to go with priority with, like, a Thunderclap. So, um, there we go. Reunclus actually got a chance to Terrastalize and use the Terror Blast. So, let's go. Good game. All right, yeah, we have a couple of worries here. Uh, unfortunately, we do see some Steel, and we see Dark, which is going to be really tough for our... Um, psychic mons here. Um, I think we can still make this work. We can definitely still make this work. Here's what we're going to end up doing. I think we're going to end up bringing... Um, let's start with Ndidi. As well as... Honestly, it's going to be King Gambit, too. Start those two. We'll bring uh, Reuniclus in the back, as well as... <sighs> Maybe not Urshifu. Um, especially because of the Scarf. Um... I think we've worked with the bring back Scalibur, though, will it? <sighs> Maybe. Yeah. We're going to go back Scalibur, too. We just need to make sure that we take care of uh, Fluttermane before that happens. Yeah, we'll be good here, I think. It's going to be a decent lead. Uh, we're going to be able to get our uh, Trick Room up. It's fine, we stopped there. Uh... Mm. 
we stopped their fake out, which is good. get this Defiant boost. That's going to be really nice. Alright. Let me go for the Trick Room. I'm honestly considering a Swords Dance. Done, but I'm gonna go Swords Dance. Ooh, Archaladon, let's go. Oh, the double switch, okay. Oh, that's gonna be rough. Okay. It's gonna be okay, because here's what we have to do is we're gonna have to go for a, uh, a follow me on the next one. Because Amoongus is going to be the slowest Mon here. Which then, in turn, will be the fastest one here in the Crick Room. Um, so let's go follow me. Yeah, Kowtow Cleave is going to be the strongest. Let's hope for the best here. We are plus three now. That's a big thing. Ooh, they went Rage Powder. That's actually really good for us. That means we don't have to deal with Spore here. Let's go. Plus three. No Rocky Helmet? Huh? Yeah, no Rocky Helmet. Let's go. An Aura Sphere. All right. That's actually pretty cool. Not going to lie. Plus four. We need to take care of our Jalla down here. So let's go with the follow me. And let's leave over there. So it's going to be some good damage right here. It's hard to, hard to deal with a plus four uh, King Gambit, honestly. Indeedy, let's go! And that is because we don't have a... Uh, uh, we don't have an item on right now. That's a big help. Go follow me. Let's go Iron Head. We'll take out Fluttermane. See ya, buddy. And they're gonna take them out. Hi, DD. That's fine though, because now what we're gonna end up doing, and they may cancel the battle, but we're gonna go out with Reuniclus again. We're gonna end up going with that. There we go. End up going with that Fairy Terra, and we'll go with the Terra Blast and try to take them out right away. Let's do that. Let's Terra Blast. Um, let's cleave too. Yeah, dang, I really wanted to get that in, though. But that's okay. Again, we're going to be able to take care of that. We're going to be able to resist any kind of knockoff or anything like that. Um, and we're going to be able to get something that was at least a neutral hit. Um, and then, of course, despite the fact that that was going to be resisted with the Kowtow Cleave going into um, Incineroar, at least we were plus four, so it was going to hit extremely hard regardless. But either way, you saw in the very end, we ended up getting the win. Good game. We got Psy Spam versus Psy Spam. Let's go. Um, however, I would imagine that they're going to end up starting with uh, Fluttermane and uh, Chi Yu, though. That's going to be the downside. Um, that's okay. Here's what we're going to do. Let's start these two. And let's have Reuniclus in the back along with... In all honesty, I kind of want to go King Gambit again. 
or just a couple uh, reservations I have with it. That's the downside. Um, Excalibur would kind of have a, a little bit of a tough time. At least it could. Hmm. You know what? Let's go Gambit. Yeah, so um, assuming they start Flutter and Chi Yu, as long as that's not a booster speed Flutter main, we're going to have the speed and we'll be able to take out one of them. And I would imagine. I would imagine it'll probably be Flutter main, though. Ah, gotcha. Got you. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. I'm glad we had that special defense boost. That's going to be really nice. That's okay. That's okay. Uh, let's go for the trick room. Do that, and I'm gonna... We're gonna get knocked out, though. That's the problem, because they're probably gonna go with a uh, Dazzling Gleam. And I don't think it's worth it to waste our Terra already. No? Nah, I will. That's fine. Let's do that, and I'm gonna go with a U-turn. Yeah, we'll end up resisting a Dazzling Gleam, um, which I would imagine is gonna be the first one here. And then, uh, then yeah, we'll figure it out. Chances are they're probably, uh... Oof. Rough. Yeah, I guess the crit on Ndidi. Good damage, too! Holy cow! Yeah, they are Rocky Helmet. So I'm really glad we didn't go with, like, a Surging Strikes then. And Reuniclus. Uh, I hope that they're not setting Trick Room 2, you know, and having it be reversed. That's exactly what they're doing. That's fair. Um, this is what we're going to do. We're going to go Helping Hand. We're going to go Expanding Force. I'm hoping that's going to be enough to, uh... Yeah, I probably won't knock out Fluttermane. They got some good bulk in their special defense. But we can only hope, you know? Smart call on their part. We're not going to be able to reset it, though, I don't think. We can hope that they try to reset it for us, though. That would be nice. Let's see what happens, though. It's gonna be interesting. Nice. Here comes the Dazzling again. Okay, well, maybe not. Good damage, let's go! Oh, and that means that they do not have, uh... That's alright. Not a problem. That means no Trick Room. Well, that's a problem. Um, let's go follow me. Uh, here's what we're going to do. We're going to try to go for the Dazzling Gleam, and let's protect on this one. We're going to get knocked out. I can guarantee you that, but we'll do our best. We'll do our best. Could miss? Hold on now. No. Okay. Sorry, that's not Archie, you, you know? 
they didn't go train at the same uh, at the same Pokemon school. All right. So they're probably going to end up terrestrializing into Ghost here. That's going to be the downside. Um, so let's go uh, Surging Strikes over there. And we'll go for the Expanding Force. Again, they're probably going to terrestrialize here, which is why... Even though we're not going to get the Expanding Force off, at least it would actually go into Chiyu. And do some good damage with that. Okay. That's actually a huge help. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Okay. Okay, singular expanding force now? Let's go! That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. I love it. I love it. And the best part is, we're gonna outspeed Chi Yu, or not Chi Yu, Fluttermane when it comes out right here. Because they lost their proto boost. So let's go. Let's do that. Let's expanding force. And let's call that a game. Let's go. I thought we were... I thought they were going to end up terrestrializing there. But thankfully for us, they ended up not. And we ended up taking out Chi Yu in, in a couple hits. I'm actually curious to see how low that would have gotten it if they would have ended up terrestrializing. Either way, though, we're never going to find out. Good game. So if you guys are looking for another Expanding Force user... I think we definitely found it right here. I mean, the fact that it has Magic Guard means that you're not going to be taking the residual damage from the Life Orb. Of course, if you end up having something like uh, Weezing out there, like you saw in that one game, you end up you'll end up taking that damage. But regardless, all the other times you're not going to, and you're going to be hitting extremely hard because of that Life Orb as well. And that Expanding Force went on terrain goes absolutely nuts. And even though there are a lot of dark type Pokemon out there, especially with like Incineroar, Chiyu, and things like that, Expanding Force is still going to do a lot of damage into all of the other Pokemon, even if it ends up resisting it. And of course, having Psychic Noise on it as well is nice if you end up seeing a lot of healing type Pokemon. Uh, so you can always end up using that into them. And then of course, if you end up terrestrializing into Fairy, that's going to be nice to be able to use that Terra Blast over into something that's like a dark type Pokemon. So again, Reuniclus is a really great Pokemon. Again, having Magic Guard plus the Life Orb is extremely beneficial. So if you guys are looking for that other Expanding Force user and want to be a little more classy than using something like Armor Rouge, definitely go with Reuniclus. But thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Hope you guys enjoyed the battles. If you guys did, make sure to drop a like. We'll see you guys next time. Thank you